two year old boy with a blonde hair and blue eyes present your pediatric clinic after just having immigrated from outside the United States. The child appears small for his age and has slight microcephaly. His parents report some concern about the possible developmental delays and the physical examination is significant for hypertonia and hyperreflexia in all the limbs. In addition to ordering a complete blood picture as well as urine analysis, you order like yeah, you tie test, which you suspect will be positive. Yeah, this is a very important clue. While you avoid the results of the laboratory testing, you tell the parents that the patient will likely need to avoid foods containing neutral sweet. Yes, this is a case of phenylketonuria. So phenylketonuria is an autosomal recessive disorder mainly caused by the mutations in phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme or mainly because of uh, decreased tetrahydrobiopterin. In 80 to 90% of the cases, the phenylketonuria can be developed because of phenylalanine hydroxylase involvement and only 10 to 20% of the cases, you can see that there will be a decreased tetrahydrobiopterin, which is a cofactor for the enzyme that is phenylalanine hydroxylase. And what is the biochemical step of the phenylalanine hydroxylase in the phenylalanine metabolism where phenylalanine is converted into tyrosine, the enzyme is called as the hydroxylase. So whenever there is a deficiency of this enzyme, phenylalanine builds up. So there will be a very high levels of phenylalanine lead to severe brain damage, mainly by competitively inhibiting amino acid transport required for the protein synthesis. So why the high levels of phenylalanine lead to severe brain damage, you need to know this. For examination point of view, they'll give you all except, okay, which one is true statement, they'll give you like this for this specifically. So high levels of phenylalanine lead to severe brain damage that we know. But what is the mechanism? Because this phenylalanine competitively inhibiting amino acid transportation required for the protein synthesis, point one. Second is, phenylalanine also impairs polyribosome stabilization. Impairs polyribosome stabilization. Next, phenylalanine high concentrations can also reduce myelin production. And at last, Decrease in the formation of norepinephrine and serotonin, very important neurotransmitters. So all these are responsible for the uh, clinical manifestations of uh, phenylketonuria. And phenylalanine is also a competitive inhibitor of the tyrosinase, which is a key enzyme in the pathway of the melanin synthesis. That's the reason if it cannot be inhibited, thereby that leads to hypopigmentation of the hair as well as skin. There's a reason two year old by the blonde hair and blue eyes. That's mainly because of the phenylalanine is a competitive inhibitor of the tyrosinase, a key enzyme in the pathway of the melanin synthesis. That's the reason patient develops hypopigmentation of the hair as well as skin. So this is what is the pathophysiology. What are the clinical manifestations of this case? Mental retardation and growth retardation both are evident. And but the growth retardation is very severe when compared to that of the mental retardation because which is milder in nature. Microcephaly is seen and there will be a decreased pigmentation always present with uh, a blonde hair and blue eyes what we just discussed in our case. And there will be a mousy body odor. And uh, Musty urine color. You have to underline this word called as musty urine color. And majority of the patients exhibit with the hypertonia and hyperreflexia. So the lab findings are evident for the phenyl ketones detected in urine 
like uh, phenyl acetate, phenyl lactate, and phenyl pyruvate. Lab findings. Phenyl ketones detected in the urine. What are phenyl ketones? They are phenyl lactate, phenyl acetate, and phenyl pyruvate. All the three. And positive test for like measurement of the phenyl alanine in the blood. And there will be what is the treatment in this case? Decreased intake of phenyl alanine, which means patient need to avoid aspartame, which is found in the neutra sweet. That is the reason you inform the parent that the patient will likely need to avoid food contains neutra sweet because it mainly contains uh, aspartame and increased dietary tyrosine because essential amino acids should be administrated in the patients with this disorder. So this is about uh, phenylketonuria.